In this video, we will be going through the structural enhancement procedures on a Vela pop top. In this procedure, you will need the following tools. To start this procedure, we'll first remove the scissor arm. The first step is to open the pop top and install the 35 and a half inch wood support in the front between the top and base piece. Then install the 12 and a half wooden support in the back between the top and base piece. Install the ratchet strap on the pop top metal support frame and tighten to remove tension from the gas strut and spring. Using two people, remove all six bolts on the upper section. Then compress the scissor arm a little further with the ratchet strap. Then remove the three middle bolts from the lower section. Next, remove the bolts attaching the metal support to the base of the pop top. Slide the arm forward and then pull the bottom edge out and down to remove and set aside. Tape up the fabric skirt to allow access to the full side of the pop top base. In the unlikely event that cracks are found, go to the end of the video and perform the work according to the crack repair section. The complete cure time for DAP Dynaflex Ultra Adhesive is 72 hours. Application temperature range is 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If a crack repair is being performed prior to installing the cover piece, Cover piece and arm must not be fastened until at least 24 hours after adhesive is applied. After cover piece and arm are fastened, the pop top can be closed but not opened again until after an additional 48 hours. During this time, the vehicle can be moved outside but should not be driven on the road. If only the cover piece is being installed with no crack repair needed, the pop top may not be closed until 24 hours after the DAP adhesive is applied. The pop top can only be opened again after an additional 48 hours. During this time, the vehicle can be moved outside but should not be driven on the road. Make note, the unit with the pop top must be stored inside for the first 24 hours of cure time. The preferred inside storage time is the full 72 hours. However, after the first 24 hours, the unit can be stored outside if the outside temperatures is 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and the weather will remain dry. Now we can prep the frame cover piece. Dry fit the cover piece on the pop top frame, making sure all the holes line up with the frame contours and bolt holes. Once the cover piece is properly situated, etch the location at each end of the frame with a sharp edge to prepare for final install. Set the cover aside. Clean the entire surface of the pop top frame with alcohol wipes. Starting right below the radius, begin applying a generous bead of adhesive. Seal around each contour. Continue sealing around the perimeter of the frame. If there is sealant on the frame from the original pop top installation, make sure to score along the original sealant before applying the adhesive.
Now we can install the cover piece. Install the cover piece over the frame, aligning all contours and bolt holes with the holes in the cover, starting with the middle bottom bolt hole. Push firmly on the cover. Adhesive will ooze slightly out of the cutouts and at the top. Remove tape from fabric and gently lower the skirting over the sealant. Completely seal the oval mounting holes for the bottom bolts with the silicone sealant. Now we can reinstall the scissor arm. Compress the arm slightly with the ratchet strap to aid in reinstallation. Place the arm in the frame. Install the bottom bolts using the bolts from the kit. Make sure to wipe off any silicone sealant from the socket after each bottom bolt is installed. Start the middle three bolts. Then, finish tightening the middle three bolts with a drill and swivel socket until just snug. Do not over tighten. Pull the front scissor arm out towards you slightly while removing the ratchet strap. Then reinstall the ratchet strap on the back of the scissor arm. Tighten the strap to raise the arm to make installing bolts easier. If the holes in the arm and the frame do not line up, Grasp the back of the roof and the scissor arm and push forward to line up the holes. Install the front two bolts with the drill and socket. Tighten the ratchet strap again to push the scissor arm up against the roof. Install the back two bolts with the drill and socket. Now install the back two bolts. Install the remaining bolts with a straight socket or a swivel socket. Now remove the ratchet strap. Hand tighten all bolts, top and bottom, with a ratchet and socket until just snug. Do not over tighten. Wipe off any excess sealant on the frame with an alcohol wipe. Add sealant to the end of the cover piece at the back of the frame. 
Now repeat on the opposite side. In this procedure, you will need the following tools. To repair a crack, first clean the area with alcohol wipes. Then, using an electric drill with a small cutting bit or a Dremel tool with a masonry bit, create a channel along the entire length of the area to be repaired. Do not cut all the way through the pop top frame. Now lightly sand all repaired cracks and clean your area with alcohol wipes. Apply plenty of DAP Dynaflex Ultra Sealant along the entire area to be repaired. Use a flat edge scraper to remove any excess adhesive. 